a Mercedes-Benz, and a Honda CT. What do they have in common? In some countries, a Mercedes is the favorite car to be used as a taxi. But the Honda CT is a very popular choice to be used by male men. And this means one thing. Both were built to last. And why didn't I say Toyota instead of Mercedes? Because the answer to my question would be too obvious. Especially when most people know that Honda is like the Toyota of motorcycles. But what most people don't know is how cool this bike can become. Welcome to Racer TV. This is a motorcycle to which no one can stay indifferent. It can't become cooler than this one. Or could it? I will let you be the judge of that. Even because on today's episode, there are more projects to show you. All the bikes you are about to see, were built by Yak K Speed Custom, in Thailand. I think we can consider Yak, a visionary. When I presented this custom Honda Super Cub two years ago, I was very surprised with the public's interest about it. Since then, EAC has been building several units, using the same approach. And it has been so successful, that he has tried several modifications, but with different motorcycles. And this video, is about some of his works, based on the new Honda CT125. The Honda CT series, was a group of Honda Trail motorcycles, which started its life in 1964. And in 2019, Honda unveiled the CT125 concept bike. Its throwback design, made it a huge hit. It is clearly based on the new Honda Super Cub 125, but with some upgrades to make it more off-road capable. Although that is not the case with this one. This build, is the Honda CT125 old school. And it seems to me that this name, is very well suited to the project. Because it really looks old school. The tires. The Borani style rims. The seat. The black color. Everything looks really vintage and it looks absolutely cool. The most difficult modification, is probably the custom made swing arm, which is slightly longer than the original. The good news is, most of the rest, is available at K-Speed Customs website. I will leave a link on the video description. And now, it's time to see something completely different. Or maybe it is not so different after all. But I bet this fuel tank fooled you. It may not look as vintage as the previous project. But it definitely has its own character. And a lot of it. If I may say so. This. Is the Road Runner. And what's this one's style? As much as I want to know, I can't say. I have absolutely no idea, how to label this style of motorcycle. But, to be honest, I am not worried about it. Because I think this Honda, interestingly, also looks very cool. The handlebar is obviously one of the points that may look a bit strange for some people. But at the same time, it is precisely what makes this Honda so different. And I like this kind of, out of the box flavor. You probably already noticed, 
that this fuel tank is fake. But it is really interesting to see how it changes the visual of the Honda CT. Comparing it with the old school project, with the exception of the handlebar and the fake fuel tank, there are practically no differences between them. Anyway, I know you are feeling a sensation of loss. Somehow, it makes us want to see it in the Scrambler version. And it seems that EAK Speed thought exactly the same thing. This one is the Rough Runner. It is very impressive to see how versatile the Honda CT is for customization. But on this one, EAK had to make some additional changes to make it more suitable for dirt tracks. The fake fuel tank is obviously a removable item. Almost like having a two-in-one motorcycle. Don't you agree? But Eak's creativity went even further when he created this one. He labeled it as the Honda CT Combat. A very appropriate name for sure. And it seems this version has hit the jackpot of success. Getting back to the initial subject about Hondas and Mercedes build quality. Here is an interesting question. Why Mercedes built in the 80s are still the most reliable cars they ever made. It is not only about mechanic and electronic complexity. Even because Toyota still maintains respectable reliability standards. And the main reason is related with software and 80s computers limitations. On those days, a computer could only check things like if a component was technically reliable or if it would work properly. A few years later, computers and software evolved so much that they even could confirm how many miles or years a certain component would last. And this was the perfect tool to allow most brands to save on some production costs, manufacturing the same kind of components, but with more economic materials. Returning to the new Honda models, everyone knows that they are still seen as very reliable motorcycles. But personally, I think there is even a superior level, which is the bulletproof class. No one can talk about this category without mentioning these two old Hondas. Aesthetically, they may be as attractive as a forklift. But if there was someone like Yak K Speed in the 60s, I am sure he would solve that problem. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.